Welcome back to Disturbed Reality. Today, we cover a case in which originally I had no intention of covering, though recent developments in my opinion make it worth exploring. Let's go down a journey of depravity and quite literally inhumanity as we explore the shocking video that has been making the rounds on Twitter in recent days which we will call Mr. Hands 2023. Since October of 2022, when Twitter was purchased by Elon Musk, there's no doubt in my mind that the platform has improved overall, with more free speech, less politically biased moderation, as well as the likes of the demonic Maps community being wiped off the platform. Overall, the social media company, now known as X, is a much better experience. However, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows. One aspect that to my estimation has got worse is the spreading of violent and shocking content. Although such videos were always on Twitter, it feels as if recently they have been getting far more traction without being removed. We're talking about absolute depravity, from animal abuse, most notably the Katane Blender video, as well as murder and execution videos. Twitter, or X, is a platform in which all ages use, so I feel there needs to be a conscious effort to moderate such contents, as children should not be exposed to such evil and degeneracy. This week, another video made the rounds on the app, and was even trending across the globe. Tags such as the horse video, as well as Mr. Hands and One Guy One Horse, were trending on the 1st and 2nd of November 2023, and various people were talking about the video on my feed. Initially, I thought that the original Mr. Hands video had made the rounds online again, but a few DMs later, I realised it was actually a new video. I'm sure if you're of a certain age like me, you very well remember the infamous Mr. Hand shock video. If you grew up in the 2000s, I'd speculate there is a very good chance that you watched the video, or were at very least aware of it. The video itself is utterly disgusting and degenerate. The clip is short, but it shows an aviation engineer named Kenneth Pinion being penetrated by a horse. The video was filmed on the 2nd of July 2005, and was filmed by James Michael Tate. During this incident, Pinion sustained internal injuries, including a perforated colon. After filming, Pinion was dropped off at the Enum Claw Community Hospital in Washington. Medical staff wheeled Pinion into an examination room before realising he was dead. According to the medical examiner's office, Pinion, aged 45, died of acute peritonitis due to perforation of the colon, and the death was ruled accidental. The case actually made mainstream headlines in 2005, and the topic of zoophilia was brought to the masses. After Pinion died, the authorities used his driver's license to find acquaintances and relatives. Earlier news reports stated that the authorities had used surveillance camera footage to track down Pinion's companion. Using the contacts, the authorities found the farm where the incident occurred. The police tracked down the rural Enumclaw area farm, which was known in zoophile chat rooms as a destination for people wanting to have sex with livestock, and they seized 100 VHS tapes and DVDs, amounting to hundreds of hours of men engaging in bestiality. One of the videotapes featured Kenneth Pinion shortly before he died on the 2nd of July. Prosecutors later determined that the horse had not been injured. The videographer in the case, 54-year-old James Michael Tate, was charged with criminal trespass in the first degree. The owners of a farm, a third party, were not aware that the men entered the property to engage in bestiality. A third man was not charged since he was not visible in the video seized by investigators. Despite the zoophilic content, Tate was not charged in relation to any of these incidents, due to a lack of laws covering bestiality in the state. Skip forwards to 2023. 
and it's oh shit, here we go again. On the 1st of November 2023, a shocking video made the rounds, showing a man getting down with a horse in a stable. Though he never suffered the same fate as Kenneth Pinion all those years ago, the video shocked social media users as it went viral, prompting internet sleuths to investigate the matter and who the degenerate perpetrator could be. As the video went viral online, people began speculating on the identity of the man having his cheeks clapped by the horse. Several people claimed that the man's name was Michael Hanley, as the clip depicting bestiality contains two captions, Michael Hanley left his phone in the pub, look at what he was doing, and always keep a password on your phone, suggesting that he had left his phone unattended. The video was allegedly leaked by the person who found his device. Shortly after, the footage was unofficially named the Michael Hanley horse video and was widely circulated and searched for on social media platforms. Michael Hanley resides in Dublin, Ireland, which is where many people claim the video was supposedly filmed. Michael Hanley is a horse carriage business owner in Dublin, and his name being attributed to the video is actually false. It clearly wasn't him in the clip. In the clip, which by the way, I refuse to watch, the man is wearing an orange t-shirt, and unlike Michael, has no tattoos on his arms. Social media posts from Michael up to seven years ago show he had tattoos even way back then. He isn't the man in the video. As the scandal intensified, a YouTuber supposedly reached out to Hanley, inquiring about his alleged involvement in the video. In response, in an emailed statement, Hanley denied the allegations that he was a horse abuser, adding his company was a victim of a false flag operation launched by their competitors in a slanderous campaign. He also claims that the video isn't actually new and has been circulating since at least last year, primarily on German websites. In fact, some people claim the video to be from 2021. Just by looking at still images of the video, it's clear Michael is not the man in the clip. I feel it necessary to stress that point, as having such an accusation attached to your name is absolutely crazy. Regardless, I'd implore you not to watch the video, as I haven't. To make matters worse, after the horse video went viral, people on social media started talking about videos with other animals. One, including a fish, where a man sticks his you-know-what into its mouth. Apparently, there was also a video with a frog, where a woman inserted said frog in, well, her you-know-what. People were even talking about videos involving monkeys and elephants. I don't know the authenticity of the last two, or whether they are real, but the frog and fish videos certainly are. Although many on social media are seeing the funny side of such videos, I feel a little different in regards to such clips. I don't think we should normalise such behaviour and use it as a source of comedy. Zoophilia and bestiality is incredibly sick, not only due to the cruelty to animals, but I believe such individuals are dangerous to society. If a person is so sexually depraved that they interfere with animals, what is stopping them there? In certain states in America, and countries across Europe, bestiality is not really focused on by law enforcement, and the punishments for engaging in such acts are minor. I believe such individuals should be locked up for many, many years. In fact, if I was ruler of the universe, they would never get out of prison. As far as I'm concerned, such sexual depravity should be severely punished. Though, as the Western world further degenerates, who knows, maybe in a few years, I'll be called a kink shamer for being bigoted against animal abusers or zoophiles. But anyway, just a quick video, I kind of threw this one together, there's not really too much to delve into, I'm not going to watch the video myself, uh, but the interesting thing about this case and what should be uh, spoken about is that the man being 
attributed to this case, Michael Hanley, is not involved, he wasn't the man in the video, and like I said, such damning accusations can destroy somebody's life, so yeah, it seems like this was a hit piece against Michael Hanley, and as I said, uh, the video more than likely was circulating long before it went viral, uh, some say as early as 2021. But anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, if you can enjoy this sort of content. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if anybody has any case recommendations, follow me on Twitter, link will be in the pinned comment, drop me a DM, and also, if you could follow me on Twitch, that would be much appreciated. Anyway, as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.